Too much blood I run From what day me say me can't have no fun Me and fi go in and me yard Me say a six o'clock come I tell you say Too much blood I run Me no know where them get so much gun From them start up the war The whole city locked down And them ya youth ya wicked and them heartless Them no no mercy them with murder you regardless you better do not stand up against them, target them, fire them, shot and them no business who we twan catch. Right and now everybody have to start fret. A four innocent life, them see the war tech. Say them I wonder if them really see the half yet. The business place, them lock up all the people, them a market. Right and now the shot at them, them no care. Them say them are no fear. They boss it anytime, them say them boss it anywhere. Them have them rifle well prepared. And a manishan spear. Maxfield turn in a ghost town, everybody disappear. Me a I wonder if I dream, I saw them mute ya mean Me mother traumatized all of the pitney them a scream Police wait for intervene To hold them rifle clean is a innocent body When them trade the murder scene and me say Too much blood I run From what day me say me can't have no fun Me a fi go in a me heart me say ya six o'clock come I tell you say too much blood I run me no know where them get so much gun from them start up the war the whole city locked down you see the shot of them, them have some shot of friend Where them in point at the place we not no clue of them Them fire shot and kill the innocent And when you check it out where them a war for over gun It no make no sense And from them guns know them ready for go touch road And them not go hide it in a hand it a fi expose And them a boss it till it hotter than a chef's to a beer fire ball when it explode People running up and down when the rifle a sound Some lay flat on the ground and hope the feds come around The scene it's a blood the inner blood here we drown I in a broad day shot a shake up the town Them say them hate that like ten pot And them not go take chat Kill a man today and by tomorrow them a dead back Say them a youth say none no more and them a dead stack A just a one spot over the cut Jano star I beg the youth them say for seize the guns Them and all the violence But the youth them come like say I just evil them a live for star Rastafari I say I know I know like what I go on in a Maxfield Kingston 13. See? I want the unity and the strength build back. So we have to get rid of the real crap. You know what I mean? The people unite, man. Too much innocent people are dead. And good youths. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on a blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the end entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps in the morning here. Today is Friday. A special type of Friday. Them said that Friday is the good Friday. But is it really good for some of the ones and ones them out there who is presently mourning the loss of a loved one? Because the hands of the criminal elements was laid upon them. Why, may I tell you. Happy Easter to the ones and ones that celebrate that Christian holiday. And happy Friday to the ones and ones them who is still above ground. And happy weekend to the ones and ones them who is still here. And the ones and ones them that will make it out alive. Because as we have seen in recent months, that Friday marks the start of a bloody weekend. Yeah, man. So I just hope that today, being that it is Good Friday, we just hope 
that it remains as such and no more knockings and clappings resulting in the loss of life of another brother or another sister will not take place. But anyway, make we get into this morning's set of stories. So we're going to kick it off this morning with an international story. You don't know how we do it over on this side. Once a Jamaican involved, no matter which part of the world, we're going to definitely carry it. But it's on a rather sad note. So I'm pretty sure that Good Friday is not good for the father of this young woman that I'll be speaking about. So the daughter of veteran music selector Ricky Chopper, everybody supposed to know who Ricky Chopper is. She was found unresponsive on Thursday inside her condominium in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The police were called to the complex sometime around 11.20 a.m. where 23-year-old Brianna Destiny McCoy was found unresponsive. Police officers on the ground have determined that Brianna McCoy appeared to have been fatally canned up. Police further shared that Brianna's loss of life is being treated as a homicide, revealing that she knew the suspect. Now, the Bridgeport police have since identified the suspect and have asked the public's help in locating him. Trooper, whose given name is Garfield McCoy, has not publicly commented on the loss of life of his daughter. However, sources close to the family shared that Trooper was extremely close to Brianna and described her as the apple of his eye, adding that he did not miss a birthday or a special occasion. On Brianna's last birthday, that was October 24 of 2022, Trooper took to Instagram and shared a photo of his daughter as a baby, which he captioned, Happy birthday to my Gabby. Daddy loves you endlessly troopers representative could not immediately be reached for a comment on thursday so my most sincere condolences to the veteran dancer this jack ricky trooper and the bereaved family i'm pretty sure that the entire dancehall fraternity is grieving with you at the moment now this criminal element presently on your screen we are seeking the public's assistance, especially those living in the diaspora, to bring this criminal element here to justice. It is said that he is the father of her child and he definitely pulled the trigger and took her life. Really sad. Boy, I tell my peeps, the thing rough out of John shop there. But anyway, back on local soil. So we are going to kick it off over there in the western end of our island. We are talking about the West Milan Police Division. Where this 13-year-old female was knifed up losing her three pints in West Milan yesterday. She has since been identified by relatives as Kamaya Jenkinson. Now Kamaya Jenkinson, who was a student of Spot Valley High School in St. James, is said to have been visiting relatives for the Easter holiday. Now reports from the police suggest that Thursday afternoon there was an altercation between the teen and an adult female when a knife was brought into play. It is said that the teen was knifed up several times to the upper body. She was however transported to the Savannah Lamar General Public Hospital where it is said that the teen was pronounced you know what. Jackson, the teen, is said to have been a fun-loving person who always wore a smile and was very interested in her school. Her attacker is presently in police custody. Now, this person presently on your screen has since been identified as her attacker, Cavalier Blythe. Now, what could have really happened between this adult female and this 13 year old girl and why a knife came into play and she was repeatedly knifed up by the adult person wasn't there anyone in sight that could have helped to prevent that brutal slaughter of the child 
Boy, me I tell you, what has become of us as Jamaicans? Now, this female is also a mother of two. And me I tell you, you know, my peeps, this definitely don't look good. None at all. What really happened? What triggered her to use a knife and inflict wounds on the 13-year-old? We do understand that some of them 13 year old and them sassy body, you know, and them definitely love to prove like them big pan adults. But all of this boiled down to how society has become where it is no longer the village that groom and grow a child is every man for themselves out there, die man for die oneself. I just saw the thing set right now in a Jamaica and them thing yeah definitely cause the problem because sometimes some of them like a young ones here yeah, want to size up with big people but put that aside it still doesn't give her a right to deal with the situation in the way that it was dealt with so i definitely need to know the story of how it all started and why it ended in the way that it did boy it not look good the thing rough so what you know, my peeps, now over there in the parish of St. James, you don't know, say, Mobile, we can't leave them out of nothing because don't have Mobile there, always a keep. So over there in Flankers, Mobile, this brother here presently on your screen, identified as Shavai, end up get can up down upon the ball field. Yeah, man, may I tell you, dirt settings was the order of the day for the youth known as Shavai. Many people, I say, boy, a good youth, a call centre worker, whilst a few others, I say, is a knackis and clappis by night, and him dirty lifestyle just come catch up back pan him. But right now, as it set in the streets early days, that one are really fresh, so on the spot news media will most definitely be keeping tabs on this one and try to unearth the truth, as in who is Shavai and why them would have come deal with him in a certain type of way. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, make we continue. Now in yesterday morning's vlog, I made mention of a knockings and clappings that took place along the railway road in Spanish Town proper. Now the man and the woman we end up get can up has since been identified and is presently on your screen. The man has been identified as 31 year old Orlando McGregor and 45 year old Merlene Smith of Olaba in the parish. Another man was also injured in that attack. Now the police reports suggest that sometime around 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, two men armed with firearms stepped onto the roadway from behind a zinc fence and opened gunfire on a white Toyota Pro Box in which the three victims were traveling in. The police stated that Orlando McGregor received multiple can of can of wounds to the head and face and the right side of his upper body, chest, neck, back and left shoulder. So in how much place the man get can up he a man the man them deal with the thing a certain type of way the 45 year old female marlene smith who was in the vehicle also sustained injuries to her chest right arm and to her abdomen the injured man in the back of the vehicle get a one can in a knee. all injured persons was rushed to the spanish town hospital where mcgregor and smith was pronounced you know what upon arrival the injured man was however treated and is still presently in the hospital now my peeps all of this start from a confrontation with another man a few days before this knockings and clappings a video have been circulating all over social media showing the said taxi driver having a verbal and physical confrontation with another man stating that a war them a war presently and it is said that that person who was having the confrontation with the taxi man allegedly sought friends to intervene and have him take note in that fashion so my peeps the thing rough because the female is just a passenger in the vehicle who no know nothing about nothing and no business with nothing and end up lose her three pints for nothing why may I tell you, the thing rough at Jamaica, you know, we cannot continue like this, my peeps. We cannot continue like this.
there is so many persons reaching out to me on a daily basis from in the diaspora that would love to come back home and live but they are saying that them can they are firing for so much years of working a coal like a horse and mule and donkey whatsoever animal you want to use to describe how some of these people have to work hard in the foreign country to come back come build in jamaica and end up lose them three pints just so to the hands of criminal elements some are definitely fearful and some have already made their minds up that they will never return to the land of their birth can you imagine a this with good good Jamaica narrowed down to? Who remember the song where says sweet sweet Jamaica na left ya? Right now the people reverse that and I say sweet sweet Jamaica oh me happy left ya because not no sweet about Jamaica again. I just loan death and destruction, sorrow and grief, heartache and pain. Poor me I tell you, can't believe. I just hope that the Good Friday actually turn out good and the ones and ones them can return and we tune in again in the morning. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. <laughs> yeah, man.